Assalamu alaikum. Uh, this session is about water security in uh, Saudi Arabia. Water security is crucial global issue, especially for the arid country and most particularly for Saudi Arabia. We are facing an extraordinary challenges. But more important, we are addressing those challenges with valuable programs. Lack of water resources is common predicament in many countries, North Africa and the Middle East, Central and South Asia. Here in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, uh, continuous, which is it's contained the bulk of the Arabian Peninsula and is located in a very dry desert climate. It had virtually no permanent uh, river system and its annual rainfall, it's about more than 70 to 90 millimeters uh, of water. So the kingdom is classified as one of the countries uh, suffering from scarcities of water. Because of the arid climate and limited uh, reserve of non-renewable groundwater, climate change and other reason, our water resources are rapidly being depleted. The first sector to be looked at is agriculture. Water availability for agriculture, which is the major user of water worldwide, is one of the most critical factors for food security in many regions of the world. Irrigated agriculture around for 72% of the global and 90% of the developing countries worldwide. This was an important contributor in expanding the national and water uh, food system. Saudi Arabia water consume about 84% goes to agriculture. Of the total available water in Saudi Arabia in 2017, according to MAWA, the water requirement of the kingdom were 20, about 25 billion water cubic meters in 2015. Uh, growth about 7%. Agriculture is the fourth foremost consumer of water, 80% or 84% of the total water requirement. In the context of Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, agriculture was used to represent an environment challenges, which account for 90% of the total water supply to agriculture. The increase in agriculture water withdrawal is pre principally driven by the gap in water sector policies and regulation and general satisfaction uh, inefficient uh, of usage. Further, 67% of the total water. Irrigation, about 70% of, of, of the total today comparing to the best practice of more than 75%. The extreme water demand is in the agriculture sector is aggravated the water scarcity in the kingdom. In addition to the challenges in agriculture sector, water scarcity also affected by the urban water consumption, desalination and sewer statement. Urban water and sanitation services incur a high cost to the government, yet the service is uh, okay. The sector is uh, further uh, embedded by inadequate institutional and setting government mechanism. Giving the heavy reliance on desalination, it's about 60% of the total urban water consumption. It's imposing a heavy burden in the Saudi economy. Relatively high production unit cost is further worsening the significant high transmission cost of pumping water from the coastal to the inland. The sector is also high dependent on the fuel and the desalination, which is an environmental issues here. However, urban water consumption per capita also present a, an opportunity for imp improvement. We must reduct, reduce the water consumption by institutional prices signal ineffective to conserve water. Additionally, despite the significance of water scarcity, treated water 
uh, system must be uh, improved, especially within the term of infrastructure. What are the solutions? The Saudi National Water Strategy 2030, the government have developed a unified framework for the Saudi water sector that include a comprehensive water strategy and integrated direction, policy, regulation, and practice in the water sector and the national level with the principal objective of addressing the key challenges of restructuring the sector. The strategy includes several components, include stakeholders' engagement, assessment of the central government with resources sector operation and enabler. The Worcester strategy aimed to work toward addressing all the key challenges, leveraging previous and ongoing study. Development of water resources while providing affordable, high-quality service is a must. Strategic program and initiative for the water strategy. A total of 10 programs are presented, each compromise a multiple strategies initiative. The first program is water laws and resources management. Regulation aim to introduce a comprehensive set of policies. Program two, water resources management. It is designed to implement integrated resources management and planning at the national level in Saudi Arabia. It aimed to optimize the use of available water resources through rationalization of the current resources, such as renewable groundwater and treated sewer system. Program three, resilience is designed to ensure that water and wastewater sector are continuously prepared to meet any disruption nor in a normal day-to-day -day operation. Program four, innovation and capability. Building aim to promoting researches and development and localization and enhance the, the leadership of water management. Program five, supply and chain efficiency and services quality. Numerous operational and service quality challenges persist today across the water sector in Saudi Arabia. Program six, water services regulation, aim at ensuring that the economic regulator, namely ECRA, fulfilled its role to regulate the water services alongside electricity and uh, uh, generation. Program seven, saline water conservation, uh, restructuring that sector, the saline waters to attract more private sector to participate on the services. Nine, distribution, restructuring and privatization aim to transforming the structure of the distribution sector by streamlining the distributions and preparing them for privatization. Finally, program 10, Saudi irrigation organization system. The restructuring, the improvement, uh, it was called before Al-Ahsa development. To summarize what I want to say, Saudi national water strategy include a comprehensive plan and integrate direction, policy, regulation, and practice in the water sector. At the national level, aiming to address the key challenges and to restructure the water sector. The project include stakeholders engagement and current assessment of water demand, water resources, operation, which are compatible with the United Nations Sustainable Goals, Development Goal. To conclude what I want to say, the water security phenomenon is a clear because of changing climate pattern in the world. And it is clear that we must 
do something about it. In Saudi Arabia, water sector aim at satisfying the growing demand for water for municipal and industrial purposes. Thank you, and I'm happy to take your uh, question. Mm -hmm.